everyone. So I went to my mom's this morning because I have a doctor's appointment shortly. And I picked up my 12 days of Christmas advent from Rosehip Island. Um, I had got a cute little card in there as well with some tea. And it all came packaged in this drawstring bag, which will be perfect for um, a project bag. Now, they all come wrapped like this. Now, I was tempted to do it as a, um, a proper Christmas advent, but given it is November and November is my birthday month, I've actually decided to open them now um, and when I get home later I will um, wind them up so if you have purchased the 12 days of Christmas for this year from Rosic Island this is not the video for you to watch <laughs> um, as I'm going to open them all so I ordered this a while ago this is day one so each day you get Ooh, and there's a stitch mark around here too. So, you get, oh, cool. So, the tea is chocolate hazelnut, and I really like um, stash teas, so that is cool. And the little mini matches that, so it's called choc hazelnut. And there is a little ice cream stitch marker on there. So I'm going to pop them back into each bag just so that they really get mixed up. Day two. I know this is not how you normally do an event, but I'm just going to. Ooh. Twining's Earl Grey tea. And the yarn for that. I really, really like that. That is cool. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find day three. So we've got another stash tea and this is organic gold cup chai so gold cup chai i don't really have a lot of yellow yarn so that's always fun <clears throat> is an organic white tea. And this is a blue with um, some darker blue speckles. It's very tonal. is a jasmine blossom tea again from stash this is a fun one so it's a pale yellow with um purple and pink speckles and some pink throughout it and i just love hannah's yarn like i have so many scones of her yarn and i've made things with her yarn before it's just amazing do that day six, five, day six. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is a premium black tea, it's mixed berry. Oh. <coughs> Ooh. Pink 
um, with a lighter pink base and then some purple speckles. Day seven. This one is an organic sunny dandelion root and I've actually had dandelion root before. It's, um, it's not, it's an acquired taste, I would say. Ooh. It's a very Australian looking mini. They're piling up on my seat next to me. Day eight. Another Twinings Premium Black Tea. This is a Black Current Breeze. Oh, this has got to be one of my favourites so far. So we have a purple base with some flecks of a darker pink and a purple. Day nine. This is an organic matcha mate tea. I don't mind matcha. Again, it's another kind of acquired taste. We have a little green tonal. I'm trying to think of what I should do with these minis. I'm not quite sure yet. I have a few patterns for minis. Day 10. is a green tea, uh, pomegranate, raspberry and strawberry. This might not actually be too bad. I'm not a big, sorry, um, I'm not a big fan of green tea, but I will give it a go just because it is a bit fruity. Ooh, I like this one too. So we've got a gray, some gray, pink, orange, back this is probably my favorite organic rainforest chai from stash tea and the yarn that goes with it are you ready seriously i would buy this in a full skein and need a pair of socks out of it if hannah if you're watching this can you make this in a full skein <laughs> please so it is there's some neon green pink blue um, purple, just beautiful. Let's see what is the final day. Oops. Da -da -da, day twelve. I'm feeling I already know. Ooh, we have a lady grey. I was thinking it might be a Christmas. A Christmas one. I like um, Earl Grey and things like that. Just tease. So, ooh, this is another nice one. So, we've got a grey base with some orange, pink, and purple. So, that is the advent calendar from Rose Hip Island. As I said, if you pushed it, this was not the video for you to watch. I'm going to repack all these now. Um, I may even make it into a um, one big cake, like join them together. Uh, not sure, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I love, this is the first time I've actually had a yarn advent calendar. So 
I'm very, very happy with it. Well worth it. Um, if you haven't checked out Hannah's Yarns, go on over to her website and check them out. Um, I love getting yarn from Australian small business and Australian indie dyers. Speaking of indie dyers, when I get home today, I'm hoping they'll leave it on my doorstep. My Christmas yarn from Nicole that I, crinkle, that I ordered will hopefully be left on my doorstep. So, we shall see. But I can't cast it on yet because I haven't finished my other socks. So, the aim is sorry, this is really annoying to have those socks finished by at least the middle of December so that I can use that yarn to cast on some Christmas Eve socks. And it is one of her beautiful self starting yarns. And I just, I can't it. I can't it. Again, if you haven't checked out Nicole's yarn, do yourself a favor, as Molly Melvin would say. And um, go and check it out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, and the tea that came in my little card is um, an oolong tea. And I think I just got a notification to say that Nicole's yarn was actually delivered to my house. I think that's what that would, that popped up there. So that is the advent from Rose Hip Island. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. As I said, there was a disclaimer at the start. So if I ruined it for somebody, I'm sorry. I told you at the start I was going to show you it all. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Um, I may film a bit later as well. We'll see. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.